It's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush So today's video is going to be very exciting, so let's get started. So in the past few years, I've seen many YouTubers trying to build their own iPhone. So they actually get the parts and get them assembled from a professional or they assemble it themselves. So a great example of one who assembled it himself is Strange Parts. So he did a great job in that. Also, Nicola Tanaev, uh, if I pronounce that correctly, he made it from a professional who is experienced with that. But they all went to China to build their own iPhone. But I wanted to build it at home here in India. So I wasn't pretty confident to actually build this and I wasn't sure that I could actually get it working. But that was until I met another tech enthusiast just like me, Aditya from AGD Tech and he had tried to build his own iPhone 5 few years ago and I got some assistance from him. So he told me that I could get the proper parts from AliExpress. In a few days deciding between the iPhone 4, SE or the 7, I ended up deciding that I will make the iPhone SE as it was cheaper and also it would update to the latest update which is iOS 13. The journey started on 17th October 2019 and I basically got all the basic parts which were needed such as the display, motherboard, etc. And I assembled it and to my surprise it actually worked. And at this point I was pretty confident that I could make one myself. Then I bought the smallest needed parts from the tiny screws, brackets to the larger housing and camera. And this was all done on 11 November 2019. So I placed the order and I got it prior to December. But unfortunately, there was still something left. I actually didn't know where was the screw placement. So I actually had a chance of breaking my motherboard if I put the wrong screw into the wrong hole. I then decided to contact other YouTubers who had also tried making the iPhone. So this was strange parts and a few more but none of them replied after waiting for many months. Then finally, on 29th March 2020, I contacted Yu Jeffries, a person who is very friendly and he also repairs iPhones, MacBooks and other electronic devices. He's a very good supporter of the right to repair. And also he guided me to iFixit, where I'd already been, but I couldn't find the exact guides. He redirected me to the perfect location where I could find my things, but still that wasn't enough either. So I ended up finding this website called idoc.eu or idoc Europe, which had all the guides necessary. It had guides from the reassembly and all the teardowns as well, similar to iFixit. So this helped me a lot in the assembly. So following that guide, I finally assembled it on 4th April 2020. So let's get into how I built it and I'll walk you through all the steps. So let's start with the test assembly as we need to make sure that all parts function properly. First, let's connect the charging flex cable to the logic board. After that is done, let's move on to the power flex cable. Now we will connect the home button to the charging flex cable. Finally, attaching the display, we can also connect the battery and make sure that the test build works. And voila, it is booted up to the Apple logo. Now let's test all the other functionalities to make things sure. To get the main assembly started, let's screw the display brackets into the housing. Now we can add all the external buttons and the ringer switch. After all that is done, we will remove the adhesive strips and place the flex cable down. I will also screw in the cable and flash model to the housing. To finish off with the power flex cable assembly, we will screw in the vibrator motor. After that is done, we can move on to the logic board. While placing it in, make sure that you connect the antenna module and keep the power flex cable connector towards the upper side. After placing the screws into the respective slots, we can connect the power flex cable to the logic board. Then we can insert the SIM slot as well. 
Now we can also connect the camera. Now I'm going to place some adhesive strips to adhere the battery. I'm using these strips as these are easier to replace than the original ones. After peeling off the protection, we will place the battery in. But make sure not to connect the battery into the logic board. Then we can place the charging flex cable in. Now we will remove the adhesive and place it in firmly. Then we can connect the antenna to the logic board. Now we can place the speaker in and screw all the other things in. After that is done, we can place the remaining brackets onto the logic board after connecting the battery in. Now let's move onto the display assembly. We will start off by connecting the front camera flex cable. Then we will add the earpiece speaker and screw the brackets on top of it. Then moving onto the home button, we can secure it in by adding a bracket on top with a bunch of screws. Now let's connect the display to the logic board. Before we connect the final screws in, now is also a good time to confirm whether our device works. And yes, it is booted up and we will test other functionalities. Now here I placed the display in while testing, but this is not recommended, but I did it anyways. And here is the Apple unboxing style sound. So here it is, a custom red iPhone I made at home here in India from parts from AliExpress. Also again, a special thanks to AGT Tech and Hugh Jeffries for their support. And also I leave the links of the channel in the description and use a small clip from Aditya from AGT Tech. What is up guys? My name is Aditya Tokre from AGT Tech YouTube channel. Guys, recently Om from iTech Everything contacted me and he said that he was trying to make his own iPhone from parts and I was really happy because three years ago, I made my own iPhone 5 in gold color from parts. It took one year for me to make the entire smartphone whereas guys, currently Om has successfully made the iPhone SE in product red color. I'm really happy and guys everybody watching this video don't at all forget to subscribe to iTech everything also if you want more information on this build about how I built it why I built it what parts are required and is it worth making an iPhone instead of buying one more videos will be coming on this channel so stay tuned and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you know when those videos are out, they will be coming very soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. It has taken a long time to edit and record. And yeah, a sub would be massively appreciated. Stay safe. Peace. I ended up buying or or then I bought all the smallest necessity. So yeah, it is.